How's it going everyone? JKXVX here back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. In today's video I've got a tips and informational method, fast method video all about the new feature which has just been released, the Horizon promo feature. As you all know the Horizon promo feature has been added back to the game and this basically gives us the task of taking photos of all 685 cars in the game. As you can see 685 photos to be taken i've personally only done 377 but i've barely been doing this at all in this video i've got three good tips methods and tricks all with pros and cons on how to get this number up very quickly and of course this will help you get the ferrari portofino at 100 photos and the porsche gunther at 200 photos very quickly now some of these methods do go quite into detail so make sure to listen properly because you may miss a key step, key bit of information. It's worth mentioning that some of these methods will work for people that have no photos taken already and some of these methods will also work for people who have very few photos left to take. It will work for everyone and it will especially help the people that are close to finishing. Now the first method is actually a method I've had to pre-record but I'm going to have it on screen in a minute and that is private sessions with friends. You may have seen that I was live streaming yesterday and what we all did is I got 11 of you viewers into a lobby with me so there was 12 of us together and what we basically did was alternated between cars. For example we would all meet up at the car park and then we would all get into a new car, get out, take a photo of everyone then we would all swap cars. We'd go here, we'd go to change car and just get it delivered. And we could do this two times every minute. Bearing in mind we're taking a photo of 12 cars each time, we were getting crazy numbers of new car photos. On screen right now you'll see me doing it. I'm not sure how many cars I was on at the time, but you'll see in the live stream there was loads of us at the car park and we just kept on changing cars and taking a photo, changing cars, taking a photo and we were getting so many new photos, it's such a good method. And it's not that boring as well, it's sort of satisfying seeing new cars every 20 seconds. But the cons about this method is it's hard to do because you need quite a lot of people in your lobby and eventually it will stop being so quick because you'll just keep getting duplicate cars. But there's the next method, completely saves that. Now if you want people to do that method with, if you want a load of Forza Horizon people to you know, help each other out, join my Discord in the description and just try to find people in the general chat that want to do this method. Get together, get with each other into a Horizon party and just do the method that I said. This is very good, especially for the people that have very little photos taken. This got me up to 200 photos in such a short amount of time, 15, 20 minutes maybe. It got me the Porsche and the Ferrari. Now the second method is easily one of the best ones for if you're high up in the photos and you need just a few more left or a few hundred and that is drag racing. Now the way this one works is the following. First of all you're going to have to go into Horizon promo and collection and have a look at the cars you have left. Make sure you go to filter and filter it to non-captured so you can see which cars you have left. Now if you're in the very early stage of taking photos just skip this step. Because I've already taken photos of over half of the cars, what we need to do is you need to find a manufacturer where you've got lots of cars left to take photos of. For example, I can instantly tell that Porsche, I've still got quite a lot of Porsche photos to take photos of. So once I've noted that down, I'm going to do Porsche and I can also see that quite a lot of them are S1 class. So we'll keep that in mind. So once again, go to your collection, try to find a manufacturer where you've got lots of cars left. In my case, it was Porsche and then do the following. Or if you're just starting out with photos, just pick any manufacturer, it will work with any. So go to create a blueprint, then click on anything there. And then make sure you toggle over to manufacturer and pick the manufacturer in question. In my case, it was Porsche. Now I'd recommend picking open class, however, when you've created the blueprint, and obviously you've got to click on it, as we remembered, I want S1 class cars in the race with me, and this will mean that I should pick an S1 class car myself. Because for example, if I've got a load of D class Porsches I need to take photos on, if I do the race in an S2 class car, it's not going to give me any D class rivals, is it? That would just be unfair. So make sure you get into a car that's similar to what you need photos of. So I need a photo of S1 class Porsches, so I'm going to get into an S1 class Porsche. 
And here we go, then it is just as simple as starting up the race. And once you've driven about five feet, get your photo mode out and pray that loads of the cars here are ones you need photos of. So we're going to go here, take a photo. In my case, I got three new cars. And to be honest, that's on the low end. If you're starting to struggle like me, I'm sort of starting to struggle. This is how you can make it even better. Go back into your Horizon promo and car collection menu and then sort the selection by class and then make sure you toggle it to not captured and there we go. And now what I'm going to do is write down all of these cars or at least 12 of them in a specific class. I'm going to write down 12 of the S2 class cars. Now I've got them written down, go into solo, go into create a blueprint, click on your blueprint then go over to custom. And what we're going to do is we're going to make it so the only cars that are in this race are the cars that we need. I'm going to sort it by class again just to make it a bit easier. We're going to go over to S2 class and pick the cars. So we had the Regera, we had the Zonda R, we had, what are some other ones we had? We had the MT900S, we had the Veneno. And once you've picked a good few cars, we're going to do the Lego Bugatti Chiron as well. Just click yes, click create blueprint. And do the race. Unfortunately we have to own one of those cars that you selected but that shouldn't be too hard. Loading into the race now and as, as usual you take your photo mode out, you turn around and you take a photo of all of the cars. I can see that this has worked rather well. One, two, three, four, five, six, six new cars that is more like it. Now when you get down to your last and final cars this is going to be the right method for you. I'm going to do this again, I've just written down another 12 or so cars that I need. The Zero Uno, the Viper ACR, I have to take a photo of that, that, that and that and that. Start race, now let's see how many photos we can get here. Go into photo mode, turn around, take a photo of everything. Now let's see how many we got, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Another six cars, I'm quite happy with that. Now this may seem like a slow method to do, however this will be quite fast towards the end as well and that's where things usually get slow. If you have let's say five cars left to photo just tick the only five cars that you've got left and there you go you can drive them. Now the next method is probably the obvious one but there's a few tips and tricks to make this even more easier and faster and that is to simply go into an Horizon Live session and take photos of other players. I'm in a Horizon Live session right now and all I'm going to do is just drive around and have fun. Now the tips with this are to stay in the populated areas. For example, the Horizon Festival is a popular area. This little town down here is a popular area due to this house. The beginning of the motorway and the end of the motorway are also fairly popular, as proven. This house as well, as well as Edinburgh, are also popular. And for some reason there's quite a lot of people down here in my lobby as well. And just drive around, alternate between the areas, and whenever you see an online player, Grab your camera out and take a picture of him if you haven't already. The pros about this method is it's not that boring because you're driving around in cars and you're having fun, you're just playing Forza, but at the same time you're sort of working a little bit on taking photos of cars. For example, I've come across this geezer here. In this case, I've already taken a photo of that car because there isn't a camera icon above his head. In fact, there's another car there. I've already taken a photo of that one, but it's not to worry. I'm just driving around. Now, as I said, this method isn't very boring. However, it's not the best one because you can find lots of duplicates and it might not be very fast, but at least you're playing the game quite normally. Now, another tip for if you're doing this is when the Forzathon Lives happen, go and play the Forzathon Lives because, as we all know, there's lots of people around the Falls Upon Lives, so there'll be lots of people to take photos of. So take advantage of that. Every hour, go to the Falls Upon Lives, there'll usually be a lot of people around, and you should get some new photos there. Personally, I would recommend doing the friend method first, racking up cars then, and then alternate between this and the drag race method to keep it spiced up a bit so you don't get too bored. This video may have been useless to quite a few of you, however, I can guarantee that there's quite a few people which are genuinely clueless when it comes to taking the photos and never would have thought of doing any of these methods. Anyway guys, that is probably most of the different methods on the fastest way to get to up to 685 photos taken. You'll have to let me know in the comment section below which methods or tricks you find the easiest 
and which ones you did personally. This guy's trying to line up with me, load him. Nice car though. Yeah, let me know in the conversation below which method you found best and how many photos you're at. I'm sure I'll be much higher by the next time I do a video. But anyway, guys, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Fox 2004 content. And the races guy. Like I'll see you all later.